Mick is the director of an advertising agency, a successful man who serves as a role model for many. He is a talented communicator and has learned how to please women throughout his life. But his journey began in a complicated way, as his mother was a stripper in Las Vegas when he was a child. This difficult past has uniquely shaped Nick. Despite his success and skills, he is a workaholic bachelor, the dream of any human resources department. However, recently, the board of directors of his company made a surprising decision. Instead of promoting him to the coveted position of creative director, the highest echelon of the agency, they chose to hire Darcy, a senior manager from another company. Now she's in charge. Over the last two years, Nick's agency has faced a steady decline in performance, especially after focusing on the feminine products market, which hasn't generated as much profit as expected. Nick, despite his popularity with women, realized that he didn't fully understand their desires. So the board of directors opted to bring in Darcy, who has an outstanding track record in this area. At their first meeting, Darcy surprised everyone with her generosity. She distributed boxes of feminine products to all the employees and asked them to share their opinions about them. This situation made Nick deeply uncomfortable, but, as a subordinate, he was determined to follow Darcy's orders. At home, already a little drunk and in a bad mood, he decided to try out the products he had received. It turned out that he had forgotten that his daughter was about to arrive. His ex-wife had just married a rich man, and the new couple were going on honeymoon, leaving their daughter Alex to spend two weeks with him. When Alex arrived at Nick's house, she never imagined that she and her boyfriend would find her father testing feminine products running around the house. The situation unfolded unexpectedly, leaving Alex's boyfriend disconcerted and leaving earlier than planned. This made Alex furious, and she slammed the door shut, increasing Nick's irritation even more. Later, when he went to the bathroom to remove a mask of blackheads from his nose, an accident happened. Nick slipped in the water while holding a hairdryer and ended up suffering an electric shock in the bath. The next day, when he woke up, Nick made a surprising discovery, he could hear his housekeeper's thoughts. As he drove to work, he realized that he could also pick up the thoughts of the building's concierge. That's when he realized that women's minds were full of unexpected thoughts, leaving him extremely frightened. Nick soon realized that he could only hear the women's thoughts when he approached them. He rushed to work, but the women's thoughts continued to disturb him. He decided to share his story with his best friend, but in his eyes, Nick was just stressed about work and hallucinating. Due to an appointment with Darcy, Nick had to postpone the idea of seeing a doctor. Anxiety took hold of him during a meeting at work when he realized that he could hear the thoughts of his teammates. When he discovered that they didn't agree with his plans, Nick quickly adjusted his approach. He even used his new powers to make a suggestion that won him back success and everyone's admiration. However, that evening, on returning home early, Nick came across an unexpected scene, his daughter with her boyfriend. The boy was three years older than his daughter, which made him uncomfortable. His harsh behavior drove the boyfriend away, causing anger in Alex, his daughter. However, Nick wasn't interested in consoling anyone, his mind was obsessed with finding a way back to normal. He decided to repeat the events of the previous day, taking his chances in a thunderstorm in the hope of being struck by lightning. The next day, when he woke up, Nick believed that everything had returned to normal until he realized that he could still hear the woman's thoughts. This disturbed him deeply, making him believe that he was experiencing mental problems. Determined to find answers, Nick sought the help of a psychiatrist. At first, the doctor doubted his words, but after he challenged her to think of numbers and got them all right, she began to consider that this power could be something positive. Under the psychiatrist's guidance, Nick found a new optimism. He realized that he could use this situation to achieve his goals in the company. Full of enthusiasm, Nick left the clinic and used his superpowers to ask Lola out on a date. Nick also developed empathy for an employee he overheard thinking of committing suicide, thus managing to win her sympathy. However, when Nick confronted Darcy, his irritation grew and he decided to steal her ideas. To his surprise, he impressed his boss by coming up with exactly the same idea as she had. Darcy didn't even suspect that he was copying her ideas. When she heard that Nick's daughter was about to attend Darcy's graduation party, she gave him some brilliant suggestions. Darcy's opinion was invaluable. Nick impressed his daughter and her friends with all these incredible ideas, instantly becoming an admired father in Alex's eyes. 
Alex's colleagues were also delighted when he contributed ideas and helped solve a problem. Later, during a meeting with Lola, Nick impressed her deeply with his superpowers. She immediately felt captivated by him, because he knew her deepest desires. Nick made her feel exceptional, and he was ecstatic at the joy his superpowers gave him. In order to win back lost advertising contracts with Nike, Nick started going to places frequented by women to get valuable information about them. He immersed himself in the women's routines but was still determined to steal Darcy's ideas. His aim was clear, to seize every opportunity to take her place. The boss was shocked when Darcy presented his idea, since it was the same idea that Nick had presented. Nick used his superpowers to advise his female colleagues who were going through personal problems, which made him even more admired by them. Later, he presented his own design plan for Darcy to take a look at. Not only did she offer her opinion, but she also started creating advertising slogans. Although Nick admired Darcy's professional attitude, he secretly appropriated her ideas for the slogans. Darcy began to think that she and Nick had similar thoughts, and she couldn't understand what was going on. She left the office hurt. That evening, Nick finished work early, but saw that Darcy was working overtime. Feeling sorry for himself, he decided to stay and help her, and the two of them had a great time together. The next day, Nick took his daughter to the mall to choose a graduation dress. However, on hearing his daughter's thoughts about her relationship with her boyfriend, Nick became deeply concerned. He tried to talk to Alex, but the 15 years of estrangement made it difficult. Nick was deeply hurt that night when Darcy suddenly called, wanting to resolve the issue between them at work. After listening to her sincere explanations, Nick asked her out. The two hit it off very well, culminating in an unexpected kiss. At that moment, Nick realized how interested he was in her, but his heart was conflicted and he was confused. Hearing Darcy's thoughts that he wanted to invite her to his house, Nick simply wished her good night and accompanied her to the cab. When he got back to his apartment, he found Lola waiting for him. He didn't contact her for six days, which made her suffer. Now Nick was in love with Darcy and didn't know how to deal with his feelings for Lola. Nick couldn't wait to explain everything and apologize to Darcy, but the Nike team was already at the company and the presentation was about to start. He had to present his advertising plan. The Nike executives were delighted with his idea. Darcy was also very happy for him, although Nick couldn't fully accept the congratulations, as he felt ashamed of having stolen his ideas. Nevertheless, he accompanied her to her new luxury apartment in the suburbs, the result of years of hard work. Darcy couldn't wait to share her joy with him, and the two spent the evening dancing together. At that moment, Nick silently confirmed that Darcy was the woman of his life. When the night was over, he returned to the company and discovered that his boss had fired Darcy to make room for him. He then decided to tell the truth about stealing Darcy's ideas and asked his boss to let her keep her job. Suddenly, he realized that the employee who was having a hard time wasn't working that day, which made him extremely worried. He rushed out of the company in the heavy rain and headed to the neighborhood where the employee lived. On the way, a bare wire fell near him, but Nick wasn't hurt. He finally arrived at the employee's house and discovered that she was just taking a day off, relieving her problems. Afterward, Nick went to Darcy's house to explain his previous attitude and explain that he had been in a bad mood, which had caused him not to answer her phone. Just then, his ex-wife called to say that their daughter was having problems. Nick rushed to the party venue and found Alex crying in the bathroom. After listening to Nick's advice, Alex decided not to sleep with her boyfriend that night and ended the relationship. She was devastated, but Nick said he was proud of her brave decision and took her home, offering comfort and support. After resolving this problem, Nick met up with Darcy again, but now she was shaken by losing her dream job. Unemployed and unable to maintain her luxurious apartment, Darcy decided to sell it. Repentant, Nick finally confessed that he had stolen Darcy's ideas and had managed to keep his job thanks to it. Darcy was surprised, but when she saw the sincerity in his eyes, she decided to forgive him. Nick was overjoyed, finally understanding the true meaning of love, and the movie ended with the two of them kissing passionately. That was the summary of the movie What Women Want, I hope you enjoyed it, try watching other videos here on the channel, you'll definitely like them.